function. What is financial system? What are the functions of a financial system? So now we are going to see financial system is an organized way of parking your, I mean, mobilizing your finances. The, from saver to user, it's a bridge. It's an organized bridge. Why do I say it's an organized bridge? Because there is also a regulator sitting and watching. So now I talk about the components of financial system. So for just, uh, just a few minutes, I will share my whiteboard and then do you recall this figure which we have always been you know, we have always been demonstrating the components of the financial system with the help of this diagram okay. you remember this Indian financial system I will shorten it here I, yes. So what was it here? Financial institutions. Institutions or I would say intermediaries. Then I will talk about the next component of financial markets, right? And then I have another component. Financial services. And then financial instruments. Do you recall this figure? So now when I talk about this, financial institutions provide or uh, provide an avenue to provide finance in financial markets, provide financial services via financial instruments. So let me see what are the examples of financial intermediaries. I have the banks, then I have the stock exchanges, Then I have insurance companies and then asset management companies, right? So just we'll first see, we'll first have an overview of what each contains and then we will talk about what each are in between. Then I'm going to talk about financial markets. Financial market, I have a classification here. I'm going to speak about Money market, I would say. Money market. Right? And then I have my capital market. Then, based on, this is based on the tenure of funds part, or now we are going to say, otherwise classifying this as based on the type of funds, I have equity market, and I have Debt market. Okay. 
Now, when I talk about financial services, financial services could be all your FDs, bank deposits, I would say bank deposits, loans, investments, venture capitals, everything, everything, hedging, insurance, Now coming to financial instruments. Financial instruments are from the most complicated instrument, from the most simple instrument like check, your GPA, all these are also financial instruments. Your GPA, ATM, all these are new instruments. And then what do I have here? Two derivatives, right? Check, GPA, Paytm, two derivatives, everything is a financial instrument. So now we will elaborate on each of these. Financial intermediaries or instruments in financial market provide financial services and acknowledge them with financial instruments. Now, Let's see each of these in detail. As of now, did you understand? So what is stock exchange? What is stock exchange? Shares market. Financial intermediaries are like banks, stock exchanges, insurance companies, Asset management companies, asset management companies represent the mutual fund companies who are going to be investing on behalf of the investors. Financial markets. Financial market is a market where financial services are bought and sold. Wherever you have buying and selling, we say there is a market created. When buyers and sellers meet, they need not meet physically. They can meet virtually. They can, it can be an over the phone transaction, it can be an online transaction. So, financial market, wherever buying and selling happens. Money market. What is money market? Money market, the financial market is classified based on the type of funds and based on the tenure of funds. Tenure of funds, matlab, duration of funds are there. So, short term duration for less than one year. Funds less than one year is money market, right? And funds more than a year are dealt in capital market. Long term funds are fun, uh, parked in capital market, dealt with in capital market rather, right? More than a year. So then we have Based on the type of funds, equity and debt. Equity market may we have owned funds like equity shares, preference shares, etc. Debt market may majorly all money market funds are in dealt in debt market. Majorly, I repeat, all money market funds are dealt in debt market. I will tell you why later on when we see that chapter in detail. And then debt market may we also deal with long-term funds like debentures bonds, long-term loans, etc. Financial services. What are the financial services? Bank deposits, loans, and then we have uh, investments, venture capital, hedging, insurance, etc. So bank deposits are where the depositor parks his fund for some time. Bank is going to lend the same fund to somebody else who needs. This is saver, this is done by user. And when you have excess fund, you can also invest in other avenues, not necessarily bank, I mean, invest in shares, I mean, invest in bonds, mutual funds, etc. Now talking about venture capital, right? What is venture capital? Venture capital is going to be for 
huge projects equity investment into huge projects like for example koi company ko koi leke chalata hai to capital invest karna padega that is a venture capital talking about hedging rahul talking about hedging the hedging means you are covering the risk right covering the risk of any asset or liability insurance is going to cover the risk of our life and other valuables and when i talk about hedging even derivatives are going to be covering the risk involved in a particular asset now talking about insurance wherein they'll give you a cover for your asset they're going to take over the financial risk associated with any asset be it life be it health be it your property be it your house be it your shop etc talking about financial instrument now let us go back to the diagram how did we see it we said that financial institutions or intermediaries in financial market provide financial services and the acknowledgement is given with financial instruments so financial instruments are right from your check right the moment you open an account with your bank they will give you a check book a check leaves where you can make payment you don't need to carry cash you can make payment even with check right sometimes gpay you have installed gpay you link it to your bank you don't need to carry cash you link it with paytm which is all there in a payment app right and then all these are debited from your bank or somebody pays into your gpay it goes to your bank there are many others then talking about other instruments like shares dmat mein rakho dmat mein it is only an institution but if you see shares jo hai aapko electronic form mein credit honge what does what do shares represent that you have invested in part ownership of a company shares wahi signify karta hai if i buy a particular if i buy a share of reliance it means i have invested in the part ownership of reliance so the acknowledgement is given to me by by the way of shares the ventures again they will also come to my dmat account all i have to do is pay the money through my bank acknowledgement is given by way of any of these instruments two derivatives derivatives are hedging instruments basically derivatives jo hai they act as hedging instruments we will see once we come to the chapter on derivatives क्रेडिट मार्केट फॉरेन एक्सचेंज मार्केट हर एक चीज का हम इन डेप्थ में देखेंगे सो नाउ कमिंग टू फाइनेंशियल नाउ व्हाट आर फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन दे एनश्योर smooth working of financial system as i said they are institutions which are going to help borrowers and investors me they are going to mobilize the savings maine apna excess paisa udhar park kiya they are going to identify who actually needs so they are different types you have regulatory intermediaries i told you who are the regulatory intermediaries they are we had several regulatory intermediaries like we had rbi who regulates the banking activities and money market and foreign exchange then we had sebi who is going to regulate all the company affairs apne capital market they are going to be regulating all uh, asset management companies etc then we have pension fund regulatory authority right pfrda pension fund regulatory and development authority and then we have irda insurance regulatory and development authority who regulate all the insurance activities so now when we see they also have there are also other intermediaries who are going to offer service like we saw the banks the amcs and who want to raise funds they are going to help people who want to raise funds and who have excess funds they are going to help them meet and then 
Now talking about financial markets. What did I say financial markets were? Market where financial assets are bought and sold. What are financial assets? What are financial assets? They are financial instruments. What else is financial asset? Can you give me an example of financial asset? I will say a building is a physical asset, whereas an equity share is a financial asset. You get me? So I want some more examples from you. It will be in the economy in future. Physical assets, ka kya hai? they remain only as physical assets. You can use them only as a machinery. You can use them only as a building, right? So do you understand the difference between financial and physical asset? Yes, ma'am. Now coming yes. to money market. Money market is a classification of financial market. Now before we pass on to money market, money market is a market or a wholesale debt market. As I told you, money market funds are all debt funds. I will tell you what they are, then you will understand better, right? And these are low risk funds, high liquidity, short term instruments. Funds that are parked for a very short period, up to one year. And these funds are available, as I said, from one day. Morning dalke, night disinvest kar sikte hai. Morning invest karenge, night tak disinvest kar sikte hai. Ya evening tak disinvest kar sikte hai. And this market is dominated by government, banks, financial institutions. But we will see all these in detail when we see money market chapter. So money market is a short-term market that deals with majorly debt market. They are all into wholesale debt market. Teachers are low risk because high net worth individuals and highly reputed corporates, highly reputed banks are involved. So they cannot afford to default. And moreover, the instruments majorly are unsecured instruments. We say low risk, we say unsecured instruments because the people involved here in borrowing and lending are majorly, majorly highly reputed corporates, high net worth individuals. High net worth individuals, ka kya matlab hai? any idea? Any idea? Let's measure by their income, annual income. So there are several crores. I'll give you the exact figure in some time, right? Minimum so much lenge to high net worth individual may classify right? And then we have high reputed banks, like you have the Canara Bank, SBI, ICICI Bank, Axis Bank, all these banks. Then we have big, big corporates, Reliance. India Limited, Tata Steel, Tata Motor, such companies participating here. Okay? They cannot afford to default. And hence we say it's a secured market, low risk market. Secured means funds are secured. Hai. It is a low risk market. And again, it is a short term in market. And highly liquid. Jabi fund chahiye aapko milta hai, jabi fund aapko khatam karna hai. I mean, when you want to finish the investment, you can take it back, right? Any doubt so far? No, ma'am. Apart from that, retailers also participate in the money market when they are into trade. Trading, may aap dekho, they use bill of exchange. Somebody just said it is called commercial bills, right? Bill of exchange, jo hai, we traders, again, we traders use that. And it is usually for less than a year. Medium term bills be hote hai kabhi kabhi. But then these instruments are going to be for short term. Are you following? This level is slightly higher because I am not like Ambani or anybody. I am just a trader. Slightly higher. So now capital market is a market designed to finance long-term investments. Basically, if you talk about shares, bonds and all, these are going to provide capital for industries. Companies ke liye ye paise leke, investors se paise leke 
they are going to pump it into productive ventures of the capital are you following are you following now can i give you a small activity for 2 minutes just 2 minutes we have this whole next market also which we will be discussing in depth when we come to the chapter foreign exchange market deals with foreign currency right then we had financial sorry uh, credit market where banks financial institutions and non banking financial institutions are going to be short medium and long term loans are going to be borrowed and lent so that is what is the job of this so as of now this is what it is for the day any doubts just to have a recap we had a recap of last lecture session what is financial system and then why is it essential and then we spoke about uh finance components of financial system where we spoke about yeah, i mean we had an overview of what the indian financial system constitutes it talks about financial institutions or intermediaries financial markets financial services and financial what is that instruments or financial claims i hope i am clear any doubts